Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about After Effects and Premiere relationship and the workflow I wish I had a few years ago. What's great about Adobe is that they constantly update their products. And about a half a year ago, Adobe brought out a new feature called Essential Graphics, which allows you to create projects inside of After Effects and automatically update them inside of Adobe Premiere, which is outstanding. And this is absolutely time saving if you're a motion graphics artist or if you're a self video producer and you need to make changes on the fly. This is something that I've been incorporating very recently and it's been saving me a ton of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give out my techniques on how we do this and make it really fast. So let's come over here to After Effects and we wanna create a nice little lower third title or whatever you want it to be. We're just gonna create a title here inside of After Effects and create some nice animation. Animation in which you can't do inside of Premiere. So I got my titles and a little title background laid out here already. It's just a black solid with two masks on it. And I'm going to quickly do some animation here, which we can't really do so much inside of Adobe Premiere. So let's come over here. I'm going to use some uh, animation presets underneath the um, text animate in. And I'm going to use like also blur. So maybe I'll grab like the evaporate preset. And I'll put this on top of my first subtitle here. Or not subtitle, but main title. And we can come here, do our keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistance, and time reverse keyframes. So now I have you know some animation here, which we can't really do inside of Premiere. And then I can also bring in uh, another preset as well, like maybe fade up characters. And we'll bring those keyframes in. So now we have some nice animation here just using some presets. And let's say if I also want to animate, say, this background on, I can bring, hit M on my keyboard and bring up the mask. And I can add a keyframe for mask path for both of these. And I can select our vertices and bring these in. Okay, so now we have our animation here. And typically what we would do, is we would render this out and give this to our editor or if we just bring it to Adobe Premiere to lay over our footage. And what's great about Essential Graphics is that I don't have to render this out anymore. I don't have to send this to my uh, editor and then co they come back and tell me that I need to change the title. They have to re-render it out and re-upload it, email it, or put it on a drive. All that can take a lot of time. But what I can do here, instead of doing all that old school rendering, what I can do is I can go to my essential graphics window, go up to window and click on essential graphics. And what I can do is click on solo supported properties and it tells me what properties I can bring over to Adobe Premiere. So I know for sure I'm going to bring over my source text properties so the editor can change the title if they wanted to. And I can do it for both subtitles just by clicking and dragging. And I also want to bring in the opacity for the uh, background here so they can lower the opacity and make it match with the footage we're using if I want to give them say some color options what I can do is go to edit generate uh, fill and I can you know grab that orange or whatever and then once again I can bring that color property in here no problem so now that we're done we just need to save this and we can bring it over to Adobe Premiere so I'm always going to click on set poster frame so we know you know the reference frame and then click on export motion graphics template so now you can browse and save it wherever you want and we'll click OK. So here we are instead of Adobe Premiere and we want to add our essential graphics into here. So what we can do is go up to window and click on essential graphics and we'll have a pop up window over here on the right. And what we need to do is import our graphics if it's not in there already. And what you can do is just browse it as well. So we can click on motion graphics project. I can click in here and add it. So here is our template and I can bring in here, just drag and drop it and Boom, there is our title. And what's great is I can go click on edit and make sure we just select our title here. And now I can click on color. I can change the t uh, color of the title if we needed to. No problem there. I can change the opacity of the background. Look at that, that's, pr that's pretty awesome. You know, I can change the title here. So we have dynamic titles. Maybe I just wanna say dynamic title. Take out the S there, no problem. And what's also very nice about it is that if I play it, just reduce the quality by a touch. It plays back in perfect timing, no problem, and everything looks great. So overall, this is a pretty awesome workflow, and hopefully you'll be able to incorporate this in your own editing process. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video, and always be creating.